you don't like your birthday. Let's let's talk about it. Yeah, sure. No, it's just um. I mean, we've said it before. It, 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 I sort of feel like it's a. This is, this is a hot take, and a lot of people are going to disagree. And please comment below because I, I I do feel like I need a, a mental shift in how I view birthdays. But to me, it's a bit of a a participation award. I did not do anything to be born on this day there is no there, it's it's a celebration of life i get it yeah but it is is this is it slightly undeserved like i mean your cells put themselves together for like nine months before you made it to the world so i mean you kind of did something i swam into an egg dude like and also like i didn't even know you what won. i was doing you want i want fuck all those other billions of bitches by yeah. the way beat their ass but oh. yeah i don't know i i I get it for my birthday. This like this day is exciting. Uh, or for, sorry, I get it for my parents. This day is exciting mm-hmm. for my parents, but I just can't really get behind it, especially because like anecdotally, bro. Every fucking day, I'm I'm grateful for my friends and the people around me. Mm-hmm. I feel blessed. I f- I really do feel your guys's love, the audience's love, um, be, and their positive energy being sent at me. So the one day where I kind of just kind of just want to be left alone and have mm-hmm. to myself. Because on every other day, I feel like it's my birthday. I don't know. So would you, you say like the biggest? Up. So would you say like the biggest gift that you really want is a little bit of peace of mind, some some relaxation, some quiet on yeah. your birthday? Yeah, this is. I, I tend to isolate myself on my birthday. This is, and even though we are quite literally in isolation, I think I'm less isolated than I was last year. Like. Ever since fucking Jake pranked me with the Lamborghini, dude, I, <laughs> and, and even before that, because so eight, my birthday, April Fool's Day, it's it's a day for pranks and shit. Up until I was twelve years old, I was the one doing the pranks. I was like, th- once I learned the concept of pranks in April Fools, I was like, this mm. is awesome. I'm gonna embrace this. I'm gonna fuck with all my friends. It'll be my day. No one's gonna mess with me. And then eventually, I <laughs> I, 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 I got bored of pranks. And I didn't want to do them anymore. And then everyone started fucking with me. And every, all the fingers were pointed at me. And everyone was looking at me. And now I'm terrified. And after uh, my brother... Dude, my brother gifted me with a Lamborghini on my 22nd birthday. He looked me in the eyes seven times and told me it wasn't a joke. I said, Jake, this is the greatest day of my life. And I started crying tears of happiness. And then some fucking guy came up to me and said, hey, can I get the keys to my car back? I, I was like, what? And it was a joke. Uh, it stabbed me in the heart with a fucking ice pick. So I'm not interested in, in any of this foo-foo play anymore. You so, guys know. So other fuck pe- with me. Yeah, other we- people have ruined your birthday, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this take last night. Yeah. It is it is quite a hot take, and I brought up the, uh, the flip side of it. I just think about those people out there that are just alone dude just like sad and alone i know he's not complaining and i know he's not thankful and he, he, he stated that he's thankful every day mm-hmm. of, the, uh, of the year for us but man my thought on it is just eat the fucking cake bro yeah blow the candles yeah. out do a couple smiles because by the way <laughs> one of the i hate to say it because it's the flip of what it's supposed to be but a lot of people get a lot of joy out of celebrating your birthday with you your fans watching I this know. show your mom and dad mm-hmm. your boys we love to see you happy we love to see you wake up smiling like yo today's my special day even though i truly know that you would like to run away. I mean, what do you say? We should head down to the bay, eat some hay. <laughs> nice rhyme. We just met. Way to keep it go. No, go. yeah, I just feel like there's like so much pressure put on me because people are telling me how I should feel about my birthday, and then so I try to act like that and I hold it to a really high standard. And then things there's a uh, miscommunications, there's uh, expectation management that's fucked up, and I don't know. Just like my thoughts and my my feelings about this day just tend to always wind into shit. So we're halfway through the day and it's going good so far. Like I woke up this morning. <laughs> nice I was, watch. I was very happy with everything like the sun was shining nice uh you talk about your birthday the same way i talk about like getting into new relationships i go over every intricate detail i'm like what if she does it it's just like i said eat the fucking cake bro i came downstairs this morning no one was there and this is me walking down the stairs i was like i was like this i was like (laughs) chef katie made eye contact with me i go don't fucking look at me (laughs) (laughs) it's so weird don't fucking don't fucking touch me danny popped out i was like hi danny (laughs) Gone, disappeared in the night through a smoke bomb. I don't want to be seen today, boys. I'm invisible. I'm a ghost. I think people at home can relate to this a little bit because everybody knows there's no one thing in the entire world as awkward as having happy birthday sung to you. It's uh, it is the most awkward thing sucks. in the entire world. People talk about speaking. Why are in front we of, still doing that? Out of all the things, like it's 2020, can we cut this shit? Do you think it's a form of torture? I think oh, for like sure. waterboarding. For, for, it's it's more like, like water droplets. You know how yeah, they, they yeah. drop bits of water, like the Chinese do that. Yeah. It's like that, dude. There's not a new song. No one can come up with a new song for Happy Birthday that's like cool, hip, and pop, and like. Um, well, it, they remixed it. Happy birthday to you. 
Also, if you, go, if you go to like a Spanish restaurant, they'll, they'll they have their own little. Oh, Feliz cumpleaños, <laughs> Italian. Any 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 ethnic or cultured restaurant has a bit of a, a swing on it. Maybe we should steal a different cultures like we do with everything else. Shout out America. 